While a nation enjoys its sleep in after a hard working week, these two weekend warriors rise at the crack of dawn to confront another domestic appliance. They have 48 hours to make it bigger, better, faster and stronger. Wow. Yes. I presume they are. It's the dryer. Dryers. I can, tell from, I can tell from the back, the vent hole in the back. I've always been a wee bit scared of the dryer. Well, this is your, this is probably your problem. Yeah, the lint. filter. That is it. I Dang sleep it. better when That's I hear decent. it humming in the other room. <laughs> Ooh. And I go, oh. Yeah, read it, man. Drying clothes on the line is for tree huggers and pensioners. And James Cole. A clothes dryer is the better choice for a busy man. Unfortunately, when left to the last minute, even this takes too long. You have a weekend to make the domestic clothes dryer bigger, better, faster, stronger. On Sunday, your challenge will be to dry a basket of laundry. You will have up to 10 minutes, and the clothes will be weighed to see who has the greatest amount of remaining moisture. Good luck. Helping Coleman and Pagey with their dryers are a variety of possible team members. Most have particular attributes that are useful for the task at hand. Except, of course, for the wild card, who won't be very useful at all. This week there is a diesel mechanic, a marine technician, a chemical engineer, a mechatronics engineer, and the wild card, a John Key impersonator. I choose this woman here. <laughs> Let's see what we've got here. Marine Technician. Wow. Welcome to Team Coleman. My skills range from welding to fitting and turning, um, basically anything with machinery that needs fixing. Just to confuse you, which is really easy to do, I'm going to choose the tall guy on the end, thanks. Yeah, that is confusing. Mm. Show us what you got, bro. Oh, yes, that is a cool word. And Can you say that one? I, I'd put that in a... Mechatronics Engineer. So Mechatronics Engineering is a fusion of software mechanical engineering and uh, electrical engineering. This young man here looks like he'd be really useful in their workshop. Let's see what we've got. Diesel mechanic! Yeah, that is yeah. Really actually, yeah. Awesome, what a great team. I can weld and I've got a good understanding of how engines operate, so this should be pretty helpful for the team. I'll choose you, man, because you've got some kind of brainy look about you. Oh! <laughs> Chemical engineer, that is like a trump card. It's brilliant. Oh, I've worked at a refinery or bakery, brewery. Make anything you want. Well, Pagey, let's see who we missed out on this week. Can we see your shirt there, sir? Ah. <laughs> John Key impersonator. <laughs> oh. I actually thought it was John Key. I quite like the drive. The teams waste no time in getting their conventional machines into the sheds to round table ideas. Because uh, this thing spins and pumps hot air into it. So you've got the, the clothes tumbling around and you've got the hot air puffing through it. So I'm thinking, well, let's spin it faster, pump hotter air into it to improve the concept that works. So what do you reckon? Well, how would you approach it, bro? We can kind of crush the water out or we can kind of heat it up, which is what these like kind of dryers do. I think we should be smarter and sidestep. I mean, there must be some kind of chemistry we can throw in there as well. Cool, well, this is an electric motor, right? So why don't we, why don't we step it up and get a petrol motor on it? A bigger motor. Well, don't, we don't want this thing to blow up. Just lose the unit altogether and wow. start with something fresh. Spin it a bit quicker inside this. Usually, when you're drying stuff, you're removing the water, the liquid water, by evaporating it. Yeah. We're going to go the other way around. We're going to take the liquid water, freeze it to ice, and drive the ice right out to hey. vapor with a process called sublimation. Can you draw a picture for me? Because I just have a picture brain. You need to draw that for me. Yeah. yeah. So we want this incredibly cold. It's going to get icicles on it. We're going to dip it in liquid nitrogen. Pagey's team have come up with a plan based on the process of sublimation. By freezing the water content of their laundry in a vat of liquid nitrogen, they can skip the endothermic phase transition from water to gas and just go straight from frozen undies to dry ones. They will build a sealed chamber with a small electric heater inside and then attach a vacuum pump to create the low pressure needed to freeze dry their laundry. What are we gonna lawnmower? Yep. And we we connect the clothes to the blade, basically. Yep. Lift yep. the lawnmower up, connect the and somehow mount a lawnmower, spin the clothes underneath that thing and just rev it to a, you know. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just make sure we balance it. The one's gonna shake. Slow off. Yeah. 
Yeah. Could make almost like a washing line. So your clothes. Oh, so the whole thing. So the whole thing's spinning at the yes, top, yes. and you're, you've got your joints out the side, and, yeah. you, and your clothes off that. The Coleman's team have gone for a predictably dangerous solution. They plan on taking a lawnmower and mounting it above the ground on a steel frame. By attaching their wet laundry to the mower blades, they hope to use the power of the centrifuge to spin it dry. And now it's shopping list time. Bracket, a convection heater, like what a fan heater in your house, that won't yep. work because that heats the air. We don't have any air. Okay, so I'll just put bar heater. Yeah, yeah bar heater is a uh, yeah, radiation heater. Oh, sure. Okay, mate, let's go. With a hiss and a roar, Coleman's team is first go, out. Fast as you can, mate. Don't forget the petrol and the oil. Followed quickly by Paige's team, with some parting words of safety for Sasha. Drive really safely. Be careful with the liquid thingy, nitrogen. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Although perhaps some driving lessons would have been more yeah. helpful. Take it out of gear, that's it, and then crank it. Cool. More power, you got it, you got it, yeah! With the shed to themselves, Pagey and Coleman show off their skills. Do the big lettering, I love the big lettering. Pagey and his obsession with comic book art. You're going to talk in this voice. And Coleman with the art of conversation. Quick, bro. Yeah. Watch out, it's leaking something. Else. As Pagey and Kent go back to their doodling, it's Team Coleman who get into the real stuff first. Coming, coming, nearly there. Oh, push it up. Yep, yeah. yep. Done. Yep. Oh. You ain't gonna want to get too close to this. Hey. Finally, Sasha returns from a nervous drive with the team's gear and a vat of liquid nitrogen. Nice work. You made it. Yeah. Safe, you all right? The nitrogen stuff? Pagey and Kent unload, cowardly leaving the heavy vat of death to the expert. Be really careful. Don't spill it. Do not spill that stuff. Yeah, put it over there really gently. Thank you. And get straight down to business. We're a little bit behind, so we need to crank into this. Okay, nice. Good it? work. That's... I so want to free stuff with that. I so want to free stuff. <laughs> Meanwhile, Coleman's team have already built the frame which will hold their lawnmower engine and busy themselves securing it in place. That way. That's centre there. The bottom is going to be... Yes! Yeah. Pagey and crew hurriedly dissect their fridge, which will serve as a vacuum chamber, creating low pressure for their frozen clothes to sublime. Ooh. Wow, that's, that's good. <laughs> You're a demon with this thing, man. Slight issue. Not all the way through. I think I've got the tool for that. As Pagey puts blade to styrofoam, Kent and Sasha prepare the heater, which will hopefully speed up the sublimation by raising the temperature in the vacuum chamber. It's all right. Yeah. Done. This is really good. Just pour the liquid nitrogen in and preserve me forever. With Pagey having delusions of Walt Disney, Coleman and his team are already taking their prototype out for a test run. We just tie this on here so that if um, something happens, we can stop it. Just pull the spark plug. Perfect. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. We want more revs than what it was giving us. Plus, if we've loaded that up with washing, we're going to need heaps more of that, eh? I think we put an angle grinder on. Yeah. Angle grinder. Angle grinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, not so much shaking it either, eh? That no, was good. Solid. Frame. Solid. Yeah. I think that worked really well. Okay. Brilliant. Well done. While Coleman is smug with his team's success so far, Pagey has a lot of ground to make up, having not even completed the body of his design, while Coleman's team finish off the body of their machine to get ready for testing. The teams have been hard at work trying to create a dryer that can dry a load of washing the quickest. And somehow, Coleman's team think a rather scary-looking blade might help them do this, while some slightly more intricate work is being undertaken by Pagey's team, 
as they finish off the vacuum chamber of their freeze dryer Mark I. Any leaks in the seal will slow the sublimation or freeze drying process, so there's no room for error. Okay, let's go. It's time for Pagey to test those seals. Cool, you want to wire that up? Although they seem to have taken a very Indiana Jones approach. Try and get some smoke off this. If the smoke from the fire the gets inside their invention, then yeah, the seals the haven't the worked. Specs. It was important that we did a vacuum test to make sure we can actually get down to a low enough pressure to allow sublimation to occur. We did that with a smoke test, getting a rag, dipping it in diesel and kind of holding that around the fridge. That's basically what you do in industry, although that was kind of an amateur attempt at it. I don't see much smoke in there. Whee! <laughs> What are you doing that's so dangerous? Actually, I've kind of forgotten like it, it from the fumes, but... What is that? Okay, right, shut it down, guys. Shut it down. That works really well. You can have this. Cords in. I really want... Oh, we can just let that burn out, eh? We just need to mount it somehow. We need to get that and hold it in a solid angle above the... Yeah. Bracket like that, straight over the top. Yeah. Team Coleman push on with creating a rudimentary electric starter for their lawnmower engine, as Pagey's team begin to test the effect of liquid nitrogen on wet laundry. I can hear it gurgling around. With his impeccable safety record, Pagey controls the pour of liquid nitrogen into their receptacle, with some possibly tardy words of warning from Kent. Don't inhale that. OK. Three breaths of that and you're dead. OK. <laughs> cool. You going to do the dipping? Masks on. How close can I get? Lift up. Yeah, see, that's a bit stiff, right? Oh, that's good. Stiff, rock hard, undies, good. Here we go. <laughs> I'm trying not to breathe it. Right, we need to get it under a vacuum, because if it doesn't, it will just melt and go back to water. Right, OK, so, so what we should be doing is uh, this could basically dip straight in our vacuum chamber, seal it up, bam. Yeah. Excellent. So um, we could pretty much put anything in there, yeah? Yeah, something with a lot of water will freeze up. I've got, um, I brought, happy to have my lunch here. <laughs> So there's one. Look out! I've got liquid nitrogen. You know, I'll use it on all of you. Get back. Get against the wall. Come on. Get against the wall. Now, now, now. Get on, the floor, get on the floor, Paige. Get on the floor. Get on the floor right now. On the floor. Put it down. It'll freeze you, you right <laughs> to the core. Get on the floor. What have you done to the Get on the floor, Coleman. I want to get on the floor right now. Get on the floor. Get on the floor. Yeah. Right. This is the last time you threaten me in my own shed, all right? I'll come in here and I'll take this and I'll stick it somewhere you don't want to know about. Well. Wow. Where were we? The hell is going wrong with him? What was that? He's got some weird thing going on next door. He's freezing his... I don't think he's understood the concept. I'm trying to dry the clothes. He's... Not cool them off. Possibly be doing with that. Not wanting to waste their lead, and despite being attacked by a frustrated maniac with a frozen banana, Team Coleman prepare for their test. That starter motor is going to deliver a heap of power into there, eh? It's good, eh? Yep. Team Coleman's second test is a success, but they've forgotten one thing. James forgot to attach the uh, cord to the uh, spark plug, and uh, we had no way of stopping it, so that was uh, clever of him. Exacting revenge on Pagey's shed for the ice fruit attack, Coleman desperately tries to remedy the situation by knocking out the spark plug. destroyed Pagey's guttering, Coleman and team lose precious time as they wait for their design to run out of gas. <laughs> we ended up just sitting on the bank waiting for the petrol to run out. So it was a relaxing part of the day, but 
man, it just took a long time. Time, though, has been kind to Paige's team, who are whiling away the spare minutes with design. So we're finished, well ahead of schedule. What we've been doing now is just kind of decorating the fridge. Ta-da! With the motor finally out of gas and the team out of time, it'll be a long night for Team Coleman. An untested machine with last-minute design changes could mean success or disaster in tomorrow morning's big challenge. I think maybe if we start it without any washing on it, so we have that spinning full speed, and then somehow we attach the washing to it while it's spinning. Yeah, that's my thinking exactly, which is why I'm making these hooks which will weld onto the circumference of that, that disc. Yep. So once it's going, hooks are on there, sharpened, obviously, pointing the right way. Biff the washing onto it, hooks grab the washing and start spinning it. So we've already got the momentum. Yeah, that is great. so on. dangerous. It is the day of the big challenge, and with an untested machine, Coleman's team are going in blind. Pretty confident that our machine's gonna win. It's, it's gonna work. Without a doubt. And Paige's team are confident that science is on their side. Whether or not ours succeeds, it's a little bit here and there. Like, academically, going by the numbers, we should have enough of a vacuum, and we're definitely getting cold enough. All that matters now, though, is who can get their basket of clothes the driest in 10 minutes. To be judged, of course, by the adjudicator. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes! The throwdown worked every ah. time. Boom! We'll go first. Good luck, bro. Good luck to Just you. Just uh, from there to there, I'd say we're a piece of steel. <laughs> Team Pagey, you have 10 minutes. On your marks, get set, go. Good, guys. Nice and gentle. Face protection on, gloves on. Moving the nitrogen. You ready, Sash? We're going to do the pour. Watch yourself. Ready? Pouring. Oh, yeah. Quite a lot this time, eh? Yeah, let's go heaps. Ooh. Watch out for the fumes, Sash. There's a lot of excess water here. Most people wring it out, Coleman, you know? Can't wring your clothes out, Paige. Are you dipping the first one? There we go. Nice stiff first socks. First socks dipped. Wow, they look good. You're supposed to be drying them. Why are you freezing them? There we go. You right? Jeans, hang them up, mate. Hang them up. Socks in. Yep, hang the sock. In. Seal the casket. Seal the other casket. Done. Vacuum. You guys ready? OK, vacuuming on. Look at nice. that suction. Look at the suction. Oh, yeah. Heater Say when. Say when for heater. Heater now. Heater on. Heater. Oh, yeah. How's that? Oh, oh yeah. This is working quite Actually, well. Actually, I might just put my... Five minutes. That's one thing. Uh, this technique would not free, uh, shrink your clothes. That's true. Yeah. Well, it will when you freeze them. But it'll come oh, back course, when yeah. you heat them up. Paige's team wind down the clock as they let their design do all the work. Come on, 30 babe. seconds. OK, vacuum off. Heater off. Heater off. It's good. These look quite dry. The telltale cracking of ice means Paige's subliminator may have needed more time, but he carries on optimistically. That's that one sock. There we go. No, it's not frozen. It's dry on there. Sorry, yes, it's dry on there. That. Look at that. We can stretch that. Oh, that is super dry. Pagey hands in what he claims is dry washing, a fact yet to be assessed by the adjudicator. Nice and dry, light as a feather. Nice work, guys. Sweet. Wicked. Yes. Lovely. Nice work. You rule. Let's do it. Let's get it on. Team Coleman, you have 10 minutes. 10 minutes to bleed out, bro. <laughs> on your marks, get set, go. Oh, Throttle. Kill switch. Eyes. Best Ready? of luck. Let's go. Let's go. Chucking clothes at a spinning blade may not have been the smartest plan, with the clothes going everywhere but on the hooks that Coleman took so much care in designing. <laughs> Having shredded a pair of undies and a couple of socks, Coleman wisely commandeers a mop to pull the wayward jeans out of the danger zone. Five minutes! <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
As well as being potentially deadly, it's obvious their invention has done little in the way of drying the clothes. <laughs> How dry is it? How dry is it? Mind your fingers there. Oh, yeah. Start it. <laughs> Grab those undies. Those ones, the white ones. Grab them. Wrap, wrap around the exhaust pipe. A desperate man, Coleman pathetically tries to wrap the wet clothing around the engine and exhaust pipe in a last ditch effort to dry them. Yeah, yeah, it's drying actually. Wrap it around. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh. Time. Get that one in. <laughs> Coleman, stop. You're welcome. Mm. Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> the slightly disappointing results are in. Both teams started with one kilo of wet laundry. Team Pagey Subliminator removed 221 grams of moisture in 10 minutes. Subliminator. Team Coleman's Widowmaker removed 290 grams of moisture, cotton and underwire in 10 minutes. Yes! Which means you remove more moisture. Yes! We destroyed the clothes. Of course we but did. The challenge was to dry the clothes, not shred them. Therefore, Team Pagey are the winners. Yeah. With both loads of washing still either sopping or frozen solid, it's a weak win at best for Pagey's team.